OG Fortnite has arrived and has brought back so many players who hadn't played for years to the game, as well as reigniting motivation and existing players to grind. However, there have been some complaints about the game and some people who are not taking advantage of the situation to its fullest. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to make the most of OG Fortnite. I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and let's get right on into it. My first point is one that I'm sure will be felt by everybody who has played even one game of OG Fortnite, and that's the shield situation. Because there are so many items now in the loot pool, the drop rate of shields from chest and as floor loot has dropped dramatically, leading to players not having as many meds throughout the game. To combat this, Fortnite increased the drop rate of minis and bigs by 20%, but it's still nowhere near to what it was at the end of Chapter 4. Almost every pro has complained about this, with only a handful of Fortnite players viewing it as a positive change. I know it's annoying, but there is definitely a way to make the most of this change, and that's to always try and take as little damage as possible in fights. The lack of meds means you have to play with more angles and jumping into boxes won't work as well as it did with more meds in the loot pool. In Chapter 5, when more meds get re-added to the loot pool, you'll be a much more skillful fighter and take much less damage in fights due to the practice you have gained from OG Fortnite. My second point is the tournament Epic is running this season. Already loads of skirmish groups have happened, with hundreds of thousands of players from all regions participating in them. Tournaments provide practice like nothing else in Fortnite, so to maximise on this, you should play as many tournaments as you can. I would suggest taking the rank cups that have been newly added this season as opportunities to work on specific aspects of your game or specific weaknesses that you have, as they don't matter as much as the other tournaments running, they don't have any cash prize. Setting point goals for yourself in these tournaments could also be healthy as a way to track your improvement. Solo Victory Cups are running every Monday and Wednesday for 3 weeks, meaning 6 tournaments to potentially earn $100. In these tournaments you should fully focus on playing to your strengths, as this gives you the best chance of making your first earnings. While the skirmishes that are running are just meant to be a bit of fun, they're still for a cash prize, so should also be played to your strengths. Both Solo Victory Cups and OG Skirmish Cups are an easy way to get your PR up ready for Chapter 5, making it easier to find a good teammate for FNCS next season, providing it isn't solos. Now, while this season may be really enjoyable, it's important not to forget the basics. This means that you should continue whatever aim routine you already have going, whether that be on Kovacs, Aim Labs, or in-game. Or if you haven't already, make one. This ensures your aim continues to improve throughout the OG season. You should also continue training mechs for 10 to 20 minutes per day, as not doing this could lead to them getting worse. I know it's tempting to hop on and instantly go into ranked or scrims without warming up aim or mechs, but doing this will maximise your performance in games as well as your enjoyment of the game. There have been so many times when I've got on and instantly gone into a ranked game and performed terribly for the entire day just because I neglected any sort of basic routine. As well as warming up, taking breaks every 1-2 to two hours is important to ensure you don't get tired. Next, I want to talk about Ranked. Ranked is one of the best ways you can improve your fighting in Fortnite, and is, in my opinion, much more fun than doing 1v1s in Creative. This is just because you're facing people of your own skill level, rather than random creative matchmaking enemies, who are either the most cracked player you've ever seen or a complete potato. Fortnite has made it much easier to rank up in this season due to the shorter length, meaning you should probably aim to get to the rank at least 2 ranks higher than what you were the last season. For example, I got to champion last season, so my aim for this season is to get to Unreal. As fun as playing duo 1 squad ranked is, playing solo ranked is one of the best ways to improve solo fighting, especially as practice for solo victory cups. For this reason, you should play some solo ranked as well as playing with your friends. The next thing I want to discuss is playing scrims. While it may be fun to just sit on ranked and grind that with your friends, you should play customs to improve your performance against better players, ultimately improving your placement in tournaments. If you can find customs without zone rules, they're the best, but if you can't, Noble Opens on EU and Manu Scrims on NA are the best place to go. Playing scrims is one of the things you have to do in order to push yourself further as a player, and not doing so just because you want to play ranked with your friends really isn't worth it if you're trying to go pro. Linking to this, the next thing you need to be doing is VOD reviewing. Watch games from pros or watch your own games back and write down mistakes and what went well in order to implement this into your game. Also take notes of the meta. The OG meta is changing every week, already updating to Season 6 loot from Season 5. So paying attention to what pros are doing with the new loot will put you much further ahead of other players. I know it's boring, but to be the best you can be, it's something you have to do. The next thing I'm going to say applies to many of you who are competitive players, and that's to not expect the game to be competitive. OG Fortnite was full of RNG and Epic has recreated this, meaning it's easy to just have some fun and accept that it's not always going to be that the best player wins. Just try to stay protected in fights and land safe fish off spawn especially in tournaments and your chance of dying due to bad RNG will lower significantly. 
Expecting it to be a competitive meta will lead to less enjoyment and therefore less motivation to grind and worse performance when it comes to tournaments. Here I've got a bonus point and this applies to any of you who are thinking about going into content or are currently making content. You need to be capitalising on the insane numbers the game is pulling right now as you'll grow so much faster than if you started making content later or only occasionally made content. Either start Twitch streaming or making YouTube videos and you'll undoubtedly pull numbers at least double what it would have been at the end of last chapter or in a few months. I really hope some of these things help you to enjoy the new season and improve as much as you can. Thank you so much if you've made it all the way to the end of the video. I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!